Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So today is going to be a little simpler video. Basically we're going to check for, or we're going to add some functions in tile map. And we're going to add a function for collisions, larger updates and general updates. So basically that means that I'm going to separate up the function I already have, the general update one, and then make a few new ones with some separate functionality. And that's going to be so we can update enemies easier and, and we can kind of just separate it. I'm going to clean up some old code from game state where I spawn enemies for testing. I want to create a check for enemy spawners in tile map. So if the player is near a tile map, we'll be able to get some kind of input or output or whatever. Uh, I'm going to try to spawn some enemies through tile map. This might be a little iffy in this video, but we're going to start off with the other stuff and we'll see how that goes. So here we are in tilemap.cpp. The first step would be to go into this update function and separate some stuff. And with that, I mean that I'm going to rename this update function itself here. I'm going to have an update function, but I'm going to create a new one void. And then we're going to have a void update world. So we can choose which collisions we want to update. Void update tiles. I'll just say update tiles here because this is going to make sure we update tiles all around in the screen because update tile collision is going to just check the small area around the player while update view bounds collision is going to check for stuff around the screen. And this is going to check for everything basically. In the H file, let's define these first. And this is going to help us out a lot when we're updating our enemies and doing everything. Let's start dividing it up. So, so let's take this world bounds thing and put it where it should be. View bounds collision. I'm just going to say view bounds like that. Or is this world? Wait, is this world bounds? Max size world. Okay, you know what? We're going to do world here. World bounds collision. Copy that name. Paste in here. It's not a big deal. I just forgot that it was around the world, not the view, obviously. This is going to be about colliding. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put it all into update tile collision. So now we have these two functions. I'm going to paste that last one into update tiles here, but we're going to do something different. I'm going to remove all of the collision code down to this little bracket. Once that's done, we have this for loop ready for us. Everything's good. We're updating the tiles. This was only updating the tiles within that little collision range, which is not good. So I'm going to remove the update tiles from this collision thing because it's such a small area. I want to update the tiles in the function that takes care of just about everything. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go into update tiles. I'm going to keep this here. Then let's go into render and let's find these numbers that we have. We're just going to paste those in 15. 16, 8, and 9. Very nice. Once that's done, okay, so now we're updating all of that stuff. And in here, we're going to check for if enemy spawner. And this way, we can check if that tile itself is an enemy spawner, then we can do something here. And what I would like to do would be to just kind of delete it, basically. <laughs> nothing, nothing else. But before I do that, let's go into game state and remove the old code, like I said the vector for enemies. We're going to keep that, but we're going to remove some stuff. We're going to remove the pushing of the enemies into that vector right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and control X that out of here. I'm going to create two functions here. I'm going to do a void update player, void update enemies, two new small functions. And I don't know what I just did. I don't want to do that. Find those real quick. You should see them here. I want to paste all of these, one of these and just comment that out so I remember how to push an enemy in and just update it here maybe update tile collision for this player and then obviously we need this world bounds collision as well tiles now we can choose what we want to update I want to update the same stuff for our enemies I'm not going to update tiles for enemies only for player no I and I here as well so there we go. Now we're doing pretty much what I wanted to do. Uh, we'll keep this here for now. We might need that later. I'm just going to run this and I'm going to check if we actually crash or if everything works because I want to make sure we can remove our enemy spawners. So yeah, we do have a few enemy spawners here. Very nice. Very nice. What I'm going to do 
is in our code, as soon as we find our enemy spawners, I'm going to delete them. Delete that. It's just a kind of a test dot pop back since you want to pop that last vector position as well. And then you just want to do a return. And this will make sure that if the player sees these things around him, they're going to be deleted. Yeah. And we didn't get a crash. Another way to test this would be to not delete them. See out deleted. You line that. And this will just make sure that we have nine enemy spawners because that's what we had since before. And if we look at that, delete, 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 yeah, nine, nine of them. So perfect. That is working without an issue. I'm going to remove this. Uh, we need to make sure if it's spawned or not. Let's just do that right now. Let's make a little boolean. Bool spawned. And this variable is going to help us keep track of what's going on. Uh, this spawned is false. And as soon as the enemy spawner spawns something, we're going to set it. So I'm going to create a little area here. Accessor. Accessors. Avoid set spawned. Good. And we'll also do a... Wait, we'll also do const bool spawned. Parameter. I'm going to take that parameter and go into the CPP file wherever I have it now, here, this spawned equals spawned. Good. So this way we can set the spawned variable of our tile map. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this part and say set spawn. Wait, hold up. Oh, since it is an enemy spawner, we need to dynamic cast it. Enemy spawner pointer and then place that in there. Oh, enemy spawner tile. Oh, sorry about that. A tile. There we go. Uh, if, <laughs> sorry, there we go. Yes. Excuse me. My throat's a, a little bad today. Uh, if that works out, what I want to do is I want to set ES set spawned true. Good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. I want to say std see out spawned. And final check should be fine. Okay, cool. It's it's writing spawn. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. It's lagging to shit, but it's it's working. Also, before we end, last thing I want to do, I want to go in here. Accessors. This is modifiers, actually. Const reference or bool reference. Get spawned. Const. Basically, this is just going to return bond. So we can check if it has spawned or not. Um, and the only time I'm going to set it to true is if yes get spawned if that is false then i'm going to set it to true basically we could make a another version of this where it just sets it to true but it's you know we want it like this so we can reset this if we wanted to um and that's good that's great so there you go this will work in the next video we're going to go ahead and spawn actual enemies so we're going to have to send in the vector here and everything Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's been a little slow. My voice isn't the best. But there you go. There you go. We didn't really follow the list 100%. But that's how it's going to be. I'm going to try to tell you guys what I'm thinking about. And then we'll try to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description box. All that stuff. Drop a like. Subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Alright. Bye bye.